Hey guys, this is Smooth from Smooth Coaching, Asia's leading dating company, and I'm gonna give you tips on dating. Okay, when you are in a bar enjoying a couple of drinks with your friends, it often happens that you quickly spot a girl when you are attracted to her. And sometimes, even when you are sitting with your friends and she is the only person you stare upon, you take stolen glances to see if she's still there or with boyfriend or who she is with or how she acts with her friends. In short, she is the center of your attention. But don't you ever wonder how we can focus on someone or something for so long without being bothered by all the noise and everything that is happening around us? Isn't that weird that our five senses always work but when we don't get overwhelmed with all the data that it sends to our brains? See, when you were looking at the girl, you were not paying attention to the music or your friends drinking or everybody else in the room. As we all know, we cannot pay attention to everything around us so we only focus on two things. All right, what are the two things? First one is what we value and the second one is what is a threat to us. But how do our brains know which is which, right? Our brain have reticular activating system or what we call the RAS. All right, so what does it do? So RAS, it acts as a filter in our brain for all the data around us. So what are these data? These data are what you get from the sounds, taste, colors, or images. Like what I said, our brain cannot handle everything all at once. So it filters what we pay attention to. How does it know what's important to us? It is by what we focus on the most. In my earlier example, you notice the attractive girl, so you focus on her. Now the brain knows that it must disregard all the data that does not concern with the girl. That's why you did not notice that your favorite song was playing in the background. Just, just serve as an example. So for RAS, it also greatly affects our reality. I mentioned a while ago that it filters what you focus on. So when you continuously think about failing a job interview, it actually happens. This happens because your brain sees that you are focusing on that thought. So it is going to show you that it is real. Our RAS try to give us proof that our thoughts are true. And then one, once it becomes our reality, the more we believe that our thoughts are right in thinking that way. Since your belief was reinforced, you're going to keep believing it as the truth and continuously think that way. You can see that it is a cycle between our thoughts, beliefs, and of course, action. That is why the same people who always say that they're not going to lose weight, they don't lose weight. The same people who say they are failing a game, loses a game. People who say they are not likable becomes people who are unlikable. So that's basically how our RAS works. It helps us focus on what we think is important, but at the same time, it can play a mind game with ourselves. Moreover, I also told you that it helps us pay attention to what is a threat to us. When someone appears with a gun and it starts shooting everyone, that's what you think is important at the moment. So you act on it. You run away from it because that signal has a threat to you. On the other hand, RAS also tell us what is important to us and what is value for us. Okay, in my first example, the attractive girl is the value to you, right? That's why you are all eyes on her. In dating, this filter can either work for you or against you. And that clearly depends on how you portray yourself. When you walk up to a place, do you get a lot of attention? Or do you walk in with little self-confidence and whole lot of shame? We had a video that tackles how you can speak to a girl you just met. It taught you how to talk, how to portray yourself, and how to react according to the signals that girls send you. 
In dating, we have this thing called honest signals. This conveys information about you that you cannot fake. To demonstrate, let's say you had a good pickup line or what we call opener. You talk confidently to a girl using the line that you memorized. However, during the conversation, she started shit testing you and you get caught off guard. Your immediate reaction is honest signal of who you really are. You may be able to communicate to her that you are of value, but your immediate reaction to her shit test tells her what kind of person you really are. It is hard to fake. You can claim that you are filthy rich, but the way you act and react to what she says might send an honest signal that you're not. You cannot pretend to be someone you're not because it conveys information you cannot fake. When she's shit testing you and your immediate reaction is good, you pass it so it tells her you are indeed the person you claim to be. When she shit tests you and you flinch like whoa and your immediate reaction is bad, then you fail it. Again, your immediate reaction is hard to fake. That's why it is called an honest signal. So remember, you need to pass the shit test or other tests to show her that you are confident that you are the person you introduce yourself as. Like RAS, honest signal can work for you or against you. You two can go hand in hand in dating. Here's how. When you talk to a girl, you are, of course, a nobody for her, an important person. She probably only paid attention to you when you entered her frame. Once you start talking to her, you must be able to portray yourself very well because it can determine if you are a man of value to her or not. If she's going to filter you or not, let's say you successfully conveyed yourself as a confident guy. At some point, she is going to shit test you to see if you flinch. Once you pass the test, it sends an honest signal that you are indeed confident. And you would not be filtered out by her RAS. Once this happens, she would start paying close attention to you. She is going to focus on you because you have strongly conveyed your value. RAS can actually work on your benefit. But imagine if she shit tests you and you flinch. It sends her an honest signal that you are not that kind of person to pay attention to. It sends her a signal that you are not a man of value. Hence, her RAS can filter you out once she starts ignoring you. That's why RAS can work for you or against you. An honest signal is going to help her determine that. If she notices and she thinks that you might be a value to her, our next topic is certainly for you, but for the folks who fail the shit test. This is going to help you when you have successfully engaged her in a conversation. Time and energy. If we were to create a graph between the two, it will illustrate that as time increases, the line graph of the energy decreases. That's what should happen when you talk to a girl. You start with a high energy to get noticed by the girl and then as the conversation goes on, your energy level goes down. Realistically speaking, you cannot maintain a high energy level from the start to finish, right? That is extremely exhausting. However, if your concern is that she might think that you are slowly losing interest, there are other ways to prove that you're not. Remember that low energy does not signify that you are stopping at putting effort. There are two things you can do in order to keep the vibe going. Physical touch and of course, emotional intimacy. First up, the physical touch. You can do this by touching her hand, putting your arms around her, hugging and all that thing or slightly touching her arms. You can do this depending on the level of comfort. You can start by slightly touching her arm, swaying it while you're talking. However, what if she reacts negatively? Simple, apologize for doing so. You have to sincerely do this because she might be uncomfortable with what you did. We always tell you to evaluate her reactions and act accordingly. 
but when she reacts positively, you can continue doing so and level up given more time. If you don't want to do the physical touch and she is not into that thing, you can try doing the emotional intimacy. You can do this by telling her things about you that you don't tell everyone about. The goal here is to create a great connection between you and her that can be achieved by opening up your world to her. Talk about topics that mean a lot to you, your personal matters, you know, and ask her about the things that mean a lot to her, okay? So, quick recap. We have a filter in our brain called RAS that help us ignore the unimportant things to us. This means that this can work against you if you don't successfully convey yourself properly. Girls can easily identify if you are the man of value to her or not through the honest signal that you give based on the way that you react to her shit test. Also, trying to get a girl to like you doesn't mean you have to keep your energy up high during a conversation. Remember that lowering your energy level is not only exhausting but it will also make you look desperate. She might start thinking you as an unconfident man. So two things, all right? Physical touch and of course the emotional in intimacy to replace the energy. All right guys, I hope you learned a thing or two on this video. Thank you for supporting Smooth Coaching. If you want to learn more about dating and all stuff, please subscribe on our YouTube channel Smooth coaching all right thank you for watching this is smooth creating a better you one step at a time